The GM Rapid Prototype Lab uses two technologies, both manufactured from 3D systems. The first is SLA or stereolithography apparatus, and that is a liquid that's hardened with a laser. The second is SLS or selective laser sintering, that's a powder that's hardened with a laser. Each of these have various characteristics that we choose depending on the part we're making and what the applications. This technology allows very quick iteration of parts uh, with no tooling right from math. So it allows engineers and designers uh, the ability to visualize a part or use it for a mock-up or even in some cases use it for small batch production. Rapid prototype technology is not only about speed, but the parts can be finished in various ways such that they emulate the desired finish. For example, they can be plated, painted, when we have a need for a part that's too big for the machine, we've developed ways to glue those parts together to create larger pieces for various uses. There are three key reasons why Rapid Prototype is a strategic investment for GM and GM design. Number one would be the quality of the parts, the fidelity of the parts, the speed at which we're able to make them, and the labor savings. The second would be the wide range of applications that this technology has. That would include design properties, aerodynamic models, engineering properties, some prototype applications. The third would be the sheer number of parts that this lab makes. This rapid prototype lab supports GM's global footprint, and as such, we make well over 20,000 parts. This lab supports basically every functional area. The designers, for example, use it for quick iterations of designs, and, and they can look at many choices. The Aero Lab uses it for quick iteration of Aero models, both scale and full size. In fact, the Aero Lab has been able to double their capacity in scale models in the last two years. Engineering uses it to reduce their tooling costs um, and understand what their designs are prior to investing in them. Manufacturing also uses this technology to streamline their processes in early builds. The business case for the use of this technology is just phenomenal. It is a way to reduce product development time, saves costs, gives designers more options. I don't see any end in sight for the use of this technology or General Motors' use of this technology.